Hello everyone, welcome to William and the Magic Box. Today on our show, we are going to have Dr. Boo. Dr. Boo is from Malaysia, but he lives in Toronto, in Canada. So let's see what Dr. Boo has to say. Enjoy the interview. So hello, Bukrain, how are you? I am good. Uh... Yeah, I mean, how are you? I guess your name is William. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yes, my name is William, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hi, William. Hi, hi, how are you? <laughs> Very well. So tell me, how's your morning going so far? Well, I mean, on, uh, it has been good because the weekend has been very good because now in Toronto, it's uh, sunny, it's cool, but it's sunny. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, and as usual, on, I live Sundays in comparison to Saturdays because Sunday is like... Um, I would go to the gym for a run and do all my stuff and I would just chill out at home doing nothing. <laughs> yeah. So tell me so far, what has been the highlights of your weekend? I guess, um, well, we, because I just um, came to Toronto for the past one month, I guess uh, it was yesterday. <laughs> it was yesterday, yeah. Um, uh, me and my, my family, um, we went to uh, uh, do some hiking because now in Toronto, in Canada, it's, uh, it's the autumn or fall. Um, so, uh, I mean, look, just watching the, the falling leaves, the change of colors of the leaves, I um, mean, it's just, it's just wonderful. Uh, it just makes me calm, very calm. I think that's the highlights of, the, of my weekend so far, <laughs> what is I'm here. Yeah. Amazing. And tell me yeah. where are you from, Green? I'm from Malaysia. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. And then I've just migrated with my family uh, here, I think, end of September. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. So you are, you just moved to Toronto very soon, a month ago. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and, and why Toronto? Why Canada? Uh, because um, my I'm working in medical field, and mm -hmm. um, I did my uh, sub specialty in Canada in Toronto, mm -hmm. yeah. and then I think I did that for one year and a half, and um, I was quite amazed by the hospitality, by the the warmness of the Torontonian, the Canadian, but maybe Toronto because I haven't been to other parts of Canada. Uh, yeah. It just makes me so welcome here, feel at home, and my family loves it here. Um, so, you know what, after two years, what, what, it was in during the pandemic, um, it was really bad because C C Toronto was in lockdown, nothing was open, but despite that, everybody was nice and was quite amazing. So, and then I love the work culture here because of the work-life balance in comparison to Malaysia. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, because of that, we decided to come here and work here and stay here, hopefully permanently. Amazing. And where's about yeah. Malaysia you come from? I am from Kuala Lumpur, mm -hmm. uh, the, the capital city of Malaysia. Okay. And yeah, yeah, in, yeah. But I was born... Not in Kuala Lumpur. I was born in uh, in another state. It's called Selangor. It's just um, wait, Selangor, Kuala Lumpur. Okay, Selangor is. Oops, I hope the Malaysian will not be angry with me. I forgot the map. Uh, uh, Selangor <laughs> is slightly south of Kuala. Lumpur. Yeah, it is slightly south of Kuala Lumpur. Exactly. Uh, Kuala Lumpur is. Uh, well, Kuala Lumpur is like kind of. It's surrounded by Selangor, but mostly on the on the north part. Um, I see. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we, uh, I, I did all my studies, my undergrad, my masters, everything in Malaysia and Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. I see. Okay. So as you mentioned before, that um, you are working in the medical um, fields, yeah, career. So tell me, um, what do you do for work? I'm a medical doctor. Okay. Um, I'm a pediatric cardiologist. Wow. Um, yeah. Uh, and um, my uh, my other interest in pediatric cardiology is like three D printing, three D reconstruction of the heart, and also fetal um, fetal medicine. 
mm-hmm. the unborn and uh, the unborn baby uh, that's my uh, specialty yeah amazing wow yeah and yeah. when i was looking at your profile also i could see that uh, you are a photographer as well uh, it's just my hobby yes <laughs> it, i mean <laughs> I, i i mean i i did for fun i didn't learn anything so i'm just like trying this trying this number this this thing you know oh, it looks nice so i just leave because i don't like to tweak my pictures like using you know like um ai or Um, the auto configuration thing so i just try because you know i mean because i love to use my dsr i just play with all the buttons and then and if it turn out fine i would post it it doesn't but but most like it's only like one out of 100 would be good <laughs> there is very totally rubbish so yeah that's the only yeah i i, I kind of like photography but i um but my passion is music Wow. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I I play uh I have my own group. I actually I have my own chamber music. I have my own uh, jazz music. Um yeah, I think but because I just came back here, so I just came in start back in Canada, so I have to find my ground here on music. So, yeah, baby steps. <laughs> Amazing. Would you like yeah. me to call a Dr. Bokrin or just Bokrin? No, 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 no. Bo actually you just call me Bo, is it? <laughs> Bo King, Bo, no, just Bo, Bo, Bo. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bo, are you ready to go on a beautiful journey through your memories in life and to share your point of views? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Amazing. Welcome to William and the Magic Box. So I have him, my best friend. fun questions okay what i'm going to do i'm just gonna play a song just for us to relax before the first question okay mm-hmm. yeah let's do it right so before we start the game during the join if it comes up a question that you don't want to talk about don't want to answer always can change okay yeah. amazing first question for you is that's gonna be easy What is your all-time favorite band and why you consider that? Oh my band. I mean would you consider classical music a band chamber? <laughs> okay, just kidding, just kidding. I uh, my <laughs> favorite my favorite band is um to be honest um uh Ah, oh, what they call that? Oh, I've totally forgotten the the group. Uh, uh, oh my, it just clicked my tongue. Um, uh, my favorite band would be um. Oh, what is it? The the one that sang, Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh my God, I forgot the Queen. Queen. <laughs> A Queen. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. I forgot. I just. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And why? Why this connection with the band Queen? Um, there's many reason. Um, I guess um, uh, Freddy. Uh, it's uh, I think he's classical train, mm-hmm. and uh, his words um, are very deep, and very sarcastic. It can be there's a lot of sarcasm inside it, and uh, he also dwells about sexuality, about um, mm-hmm. about uh, how he perceive himself. Um, and how the world perceive him, yeah. And you know, for me, the his song always make me feel stronger. That I'm, uh, uh, it makes me. I just don't care what people say. But I mean, of course, you have to. Um, I mean, you still have to like um, uh, uh, take into account what people say. But it's just that it doesn't make you feel bad. So each time when I listen to his song, it just make that thing go away. The the the, the the uh the conflicts in my uh in fact in myself it just makes it away so yeah that's why i like his songs most time especially the lyrics yeah amazing i totally i agree with you i think when you listen to queen songs yeah the queen the the band it, it's so powerful you feel these butterflies you know this powerful feeling you know and those songs yeah. never gonna die those songs gonna be forever you know what i mean it's gonna I... always gonna get give, give, give impacts in other people's lives as well they're gonna feel the same feeling every feeling right now it's amazing 
yeah, exactly. And then the other thing is also is that because I'm musically trained, so when I uh, hear listen to a song, I can I love the chord progression. It is mm-hmm. so beautiful. It feels funny, but it's it come it the progression. Even though the progression looks bit sounds a bit funny, a bit awkward, but it just seamlessly go nice, and then it just smoothly transition very well, which I'm quite uh, amazed. By his capability to make <laughs> the chord progression, so that's uh, the theoretical part of it. So amazing. Yeah. Next question. Let's do it. Hey, next question for you is: Tell me something that your best friends do that you always appreciate. Best friends or best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a best friend. Tell me something that your best friends, they, uh, your uh, one, one best friend that they do a lot for you, something special that um, you always appreciate. Oh, hmm. I have, uh, yeah, I, I think got one. Okay, um, there's one is actually, I say she actually, she's a good friend. Yeah, uh, she's from BC now. She's in Montreal. Uh, the best thing that she ever did was, um, I think it was during uh, my birthday. Actually, I totally forgotten it was my birthday because of the, how busy I was working, and of all the person, <laughs> she's the one who remembered it. Maybe via Facebook, I am not so sure. Um, so what she did was after work, she uh, she bought a nice small cake. And then wow. uh, she just and then she just put it on my, on my uh, on my desk. It I think even though it's such a very small gesture, but it really it actually it makes me cry actually because I tell I tell I tell I tell I totally forgot about my birthday. And then she's the one. Even even my family forgot about my birthday. So I I really appreciate that. It's such a small gesture, but it really made me a uh, very deep impact. Yeah, that's the best. It's a simple, but it until now it resonates. It always doesn't it. It's one thing that when I call her, that uh, it, what really ties me. I mean, making sure that I always try to call her. She's just a good friend, but yeah, I think she's the. Uh, that's the best gesture that I ever done by by a good friend. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, mm-hmm. those simple gestures always gonna be. You know, you're gonna be a, a touched by somehow. I think it's beautiful. Those little. Little things that people they know how to uh, to get to us somehow. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Next question. Yeah. Let's do it. Right. So before the next question, tell me what do you like the most about being a doctor? What do you like the most about your profession? And the flip side, what do you find most challenging about your um, your career? Okay. Um. I have always wanted to be a pediatrician, but it can be in other such specialty. But what I love about being a doctor, you know, I, I know it sounds very cliche, but, um, about being uh, satisfied by helping people. But I guess it's just not about that. It's more of um, looking at the patient, even though they do not sometimes thank you, but. I know the satisfaction of making things right from something that's not correct. Mm-hmm. Uh, it just uh, satisfy my my craving because I'm a bit obsessive, yeah. and also uh, yeah, I'm quite obsessive. So it's like a, when patient comes to me, everything is happens. Everything is chaotic. Yeah, they are always in. Uh, they always afraid. They are always scared, and then they are, the way they think is like everywhere. So it's like my job to make sure that the way they think is more composed, make them more composed. Not necessarily making the 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 disease in. I mean, uh, to cure something, but at least make the patient or the parent especially make them calm. Making sure that they are, they know they are on the right track. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I might not be the specialty to manage that particular disease, but at least make things the way they are supposed to be. Uh, right. I mean, okay. For example, that if you have a child, 
that came with I said, because I'm a pediatricologist. The family comes to me and then they are having a very bad as 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 a seizure or something, and the parents are very in panic panic mode. So why does I calm down? And then I try to make them compose and try them tell them what to do. So all those simple process, it just satisfied me. It's not about being tank, but it's like making sure they are not in a compose and not panic. I think that's what I like. I really like. It's not about like oh, I have to make sure the disease um, uh, 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 well managed. It's uh, totally cured. It's not about. It's about the journey. For me and the patient or the parents, that's what yep. really. But and then your second question was, what I don't like about my profession is. There's two things. First would be a. Uh, disgruntled parents. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, well, you, you can satisfy everyone. You can make everyone happy, but sometimes you try everything. Mm-hmm. Um. But sometimes you don't want to complicate things. You just tell them in the simple terms because sometimes you know when people are angry, the more you impose question or you try to explain, they become more angry. Yep. So, uh, but that's the thing that. But so what I did actually, I just, I try to like okay, you know what? Try not to like pose any more question. Just let it be. Some sometimes not all the time. But that makes me. I don't like that kind of feeling because it's like something is not complete. Yes, and the second thing, second thing would be. This is the most difficult part. Actually, it's not about death. It's more of breaking bad news. Right. Yeah, breaking bad bad news. Um, especially breaking bad news about children to their parents. Oh, that's the most difficult one. Uh, I'm very well known to cry a lot in my workplace. I do. It's not professional. Mm-hmm. Well, so. Uh, Each time when I have to break bad news, I need to like compose myself. Need to go to the toilet, uh, read something to meditate, and then, uh, and then because I don't like it. I mean, it's it's a necessary, but I don't like it. That's the worst part of my job: breaking bad news, that like, really bad news, yeah, not just simple but bad news. Yeah, yeah. All right. Next question for you is: Who would you swap lives with for a day if you could, for any reason? Wow! I never got this kind of question. <laughs> so you're saying that, so you're saying that if I were able to swap lives yeah. with someone else, yeah. who would be? Yeah, to be somebody's place for 24 hours, just for any reason. Oh my! You know what? I I'm so sorry. I don't have any answer to that because I I'm oh. satisfied with my. With myself, uh-huh. I may I definitely not perfect, but I can imagine myself being some somebody else because uh, no, yeah, I'm sorry, I, I I I don't have an answer for that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, not a problem. It's it, this is an answer. They are not right or wrong. That's an answer okay. for sure. Saying okay. that, Bu, um, when you think about yourself, when you analyze yourself, what's the biggest joy of being Bu? What do you like the most about being you? Oh, me. I'm a very um. How do you say? I'm not. I'm, if I'm an ambivert, like a bit extrovert, a bit introvert. It depends on my mood most of the days. But the enjoy about being me is that I really appreciate my friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, I uh, I always try. Like, for example, if I'm at workplace, I know at workplace it shouldn't be more professional, but I uh. I try to assimilate some friendliness during working, and then I always try to uh, plan something for my work colleague after office hour, uh, and then even with my other friend, my other group of friends. So, and I'm a quite a planner. I love to plan things to my friends. I like to. I I love. Um. How is it? Not 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 a party, but. Uh, A small group meeting, not meeting. What is that? Uh, what's the word? Not meeting. Um, reunion, like a reunion together. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's what you 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 the reunion, reunion maybe every week just to talk for one hour to two hours, no drinking, uh-huh. just having tea, coffee. Yeah, yeah. Totally. I love to do that. I I I I always do that. I know. I I kind of I tend to do that, 
and then uh, I I hope people like it. But I, by doing that, I always make I always keep in contact with everyone that I know in my life. Even though that example, like if I were to know this person from Yukon, like, because I went to like all the way on the west side, that was like two three years ago. But I still keep in contact. Uh-huh. So yeah, and then so sometimes I would go and visit them. So having that small small relationship contact with other person who's not really in your life makes people. I guess they say that they love to be around me because they say that I always tie things together, bond things together. Okay, yeah. this is what this is what they said. I'm not sure how true is that, but I hope it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they meant. I'm sure they meant for sure. I think. Um, I totally agree with you. I think being with friends, around friends, it's such a, it's a exchange great energy. Yeah, that's how. Exactly. Yeah. Next question, ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Next one. Okay. Next question is, tell us something about you that not many people know, or something interesting about yourself. Hmm. Oh, um, no, it's not a tough question, but I know how to say this. Uh, okay, outward, I always appear happy. Always mm-hmm. appears like people always say that I couldn't get, I I seldom get angry when I'm present. But in actu- in actuality, actually, I do harbor some this feeling of angerness, <laughs> a bit of sadness. But I try to like. Uh, uh, I usually yeah, I wouldn't show it most of the time. Uh-huh. Uh, so uh, yeah, that sometimes I could get angry with some someone, but I wouldn't say. It. Actually, I will go. I will play music to as a as an outlet, or I would just go for a run. So uh, it's sometimes because I have a daughter. Okay. I'm oh not wow. Saying that, but, yeah, yeah. Really? I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not saying my daughter is a punching bag. But but she but she's a very tough cookie, so most of the time she knows that when I'm stressed out, usually I will start making. Okay, because I love to nag. <laughs> okay, I never touch. I I never do physical. Uh, uh, what they call it, assault or something. But it's more of an I nag. Like, uh, why isn't <laughs> your your room clean? Uh, it should be in this place. It should be like it should be put here. So. Uh, Uh, so what she does that um, if she knows that I'm in that mood, she would just keep quiet that in her room, and then while I'm cleaning the house, yeah, she just one of my outlet clean the house. So yeah, so that's the thing that other people doesn't know about me uh-huh. uh, because I did I I don't talk much about that uh, because I don't see the part taking telling them. So when I told them actually, oh actually I can get angry or they couldn't believe actually I could get angry. I could sh- I I could shout, but I never shout to like my daughter. But I shout to something like inanimate things. Yeah, that's the thing <laughs> that people I don't think people know that much about me. Yeah, I could get angry. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> I'm surprised as well because talking to you, I would never tell that you could get angry easily. But I understand that you know so all of us we have those moments. You know what I mean? We're gonna have those moments where we cannot hold. It just come out naturally. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Do you like dancing, bro? Oh no. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I like to watch dancing, but I I never done so I yeah I could dance, but it's more of my uh, Malaysian traditional dance. Okay, but traditional dance is more like a Indian dance a bit, but it's not as complex as Indian dance. So yeah, that's our Malaysian dance. It's more like movement of the hand because everything means something, and the leg. But I don't do like the the dancing where you jump in a in a <laughs> club. You no, know, I can't do that. I try to do it, but I become so awkward. So I just stand at the side of the corner, <laughs> just looking at everyone. But I do like. <laughs> But I do like uh, abstract dancing because uh, because I mean I love to to look at the movement of the hand and the, and the limbs. Yeah, it just makes things beautiful. Yeah. See? If you're asking me, do I dance? Yeah, I can. But do I like to dance? Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next question for you is: If you could have dinner with anyone, living or not, who that would be and why? 
I would love to have dinner with Mark Twain. Uh huh. <laughs> the, the author. I don't know why. Because I just love his books, his storytelling, has his energy. So I could always imagine when having dinner with him, I we could talk for hours and hours, exchanging stories, stupid stories, silly stories. I know that that's how I, I that, that's one of my. If you were if I were to have dinner with someone who would die, yeah, Mark Twain. Amazing, good. And what's your favorite book of him? Oh, the simple Tom Sawyer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because it just reminds me of me. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, Huckleberry Finn and everything. Yeah, I I I, I like his, his 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 works. Amazing. Three questions left. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Before the next question, Bo, tell me. Um, in the beginning of the interview, you said about your passion about music. Tell me how music came into your life. Okay. Um, I have actually my. I've always known that uh, I like music ever since I was four years old because my dad loves classical. Not the the west. Not just the western classical. The Asian. Classical from the Indonesia, uh, but mostly Indonesia and Malaysian uh, song. So then I uh, I would I love to sing, even though because I I have difficulty in speaking. Speak, my speech is very delayed. So usually when I was small, I just hum, I just say whatever sound that I think the lyric is. So it's totally not the lyrics. So and then, but I always my dad always said that the my tune is always correct. Um, so uh, yeah. So then, when I was nine year old, but my dad doesn't like to. I mean, he said that learning music is a waste of time. Even even though he likes music, so when I was nine, uh, this is a funny story. Um, my cousin, I okay, okay, I always have a bit of competition with my cousin. She's the bright one. I'm the dumb one. So oh, hmm. she. She played the organ uh, keyboard, and I uh, my dad was quite impressed. So and then I told my dad, you know what? If you want me to be as good as her, please send me to a music class. So I told him that I want to play keyboard, but he doesn't know the difference between keyboard and piano. So I end up in playing piano, and then I turned out to be I'm quite good at it. Not the best, but I'm good at it. I love to compose music, and then when I was I finished my diploma in music when I was fifteen. Wow, I, and and that I took my violin when I was thirteen. After I watched a movie about Johann Strauss, <laughs> I don't know why, I took a violin and I finished my uh, diploma in performance when I was seventeen in violin. Yeah. So actually, my first choice of career actually is musician, but my dad said no. Yeah, that's why I went to doctor. Yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah. Next question for you is: Describe yourself in three words. I describe myself as a storm. Okay. The calm before the storm. Second would be the sun. The storm what? And sun. The sun. Okay, the sun. It's okay. Like, it, it's always shine. It's always shining. Eh, yeah. It's shining. Yeah. It's always shines on people's life, but sometimes it can make people angry because it's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and then. Uh, I would describe myself as a um, like um, you know when the waterfall and it falls down and then there's a lot of sounds that 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 the waterfall sounds that I would describe means that there's a lot of chaotic in my mind even with my mm-hmm. friends but at the very end there's always something that you can hold on. I know that's how I describe. I'm not, I'm very bad with words, uh, but I, I that's how I see myself: the waterfall, the sun, and the storm. Besides your daughter, which person in your family you feel more close to? You feel more connected with? Do you have like a very good connection? My mom. Okay, so let's yeah. see. This your mom is watching this interview right now, and you have a moment, an opportunity to send her a message. What would you say? You can say Malaysian if you prefer, and after in English, how you prefer. Oh no, I, she she can understand English. Yeah. Okay. Great. 
uh, what I will say to my mom is that um, uh, even though you always nag, <laughs> nag, and you always love to, you know, like pinch on my ear when I was small, and you always um, instruct me to do everything. Everything must be in order. But I think those things makes me what I am today. Because mm-hmm. it makes me stronger. It makes me someone to become very resilient. I mean, even yep. though whatever, whatever people throw at me, because she has her own moments. Um, whatever people throw at me, even though whatever things that are depressing, I always comes out of it. So it's quite resilient. Yep. And the other thing is that um, always. The, the 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 lesson that I always learn from me is that appreciate with whatever you have, even like a even even with just like a cup of rice, a cup of water, a glass of water, drinking water, you should appreciate everything. Yeah, yeah. Money doesn't Beautiful. mean anything. Yeah, that's what. Yeah. Beautiful. Two questions left. Let's do it. Yeah. Next question for you is: What's the best advice have you ever given to anyone particular? To any no, no anyone in your life. When when you think about uh, somebody said, "Oh, that was the best advice you ever gave me." There is something. Oh, okay, that's easy. That's how my you know my Instagram name Bo does. Actually, it mean it does mean something. It means that I'm the type. I always tell everyone that. Always try new things. Yeah, you yeah you have to think about it first. But sometimes you just have just to do it, and then, mm. I mean yeah, I mean and then you 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 will worry about the consequence later. But yeah, something that's not very <laughs> very dramatic. But just do it. Don't just yeah. keep on thinking about it like, uh, taking classes. Oh, you have to think about this this. No, you know what? Just think about the positive thing. Uh, and then just do it. That's my that's my motto. I think that's the best thing. Uh, people always ask me because the I'm the type like I just do things. Mm-hmm. Of course, I mean I would think about it first, but I think just a for a moment, as long as it doesn't disturb anyone, I just do it. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Great. Last question. Ready? Yep. Let's do it. Last question. Well, before the the last question, tell me through your career, yeah. Tell me a moment or a situation that you're never gonna forget. Always gonna have a special place in your heart for any reason, if you can share. Mm. Throughout my career, um, the best. Oh, I don't know. It can be the best. It can be the worst. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe I stick the positive things. What's the positive things? <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess the best would be um. Uh, on my career is that uh, because being a doctor is a very long journey. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's uh like uh to where I get to myself now. It took me like nearly seventeen years because wow. I keep on learning and learning. My best. Uh, was when I uh, when I present in the conference, yeah. and then people would take my advice and they appreciate my 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 opinion about things. That's one that's one time where people would just say that oh that's the best um that's the best uh, presentation and then that's the best uh uh, uh management. Uh, summary management you ever done in the conference? It was the international conference, so that's one of my. I thought that oh, you know what? I might have not say achieved, but I think that's my final moment of career. Is that where I say that you know what? I think I have achieved that st- to that status. So I that's one of my greatest moment I ever, ever made. Yeah. Wow! Amazing. Yes. Last question is: What three things do you want to be remembered for? I always, if you if I were to die, <laughs> of course I'll <laughs> die. The thing that people I would like people to remember me is that I'm a 
the kind that I'm selfless. Uh, and second, I'm always. Uh, people always know that uh, uh, I'm very helpful. That people would just I mean, people know that I would if they were to ask for any help, I would just go to them. And the other thing is, uh, I'm the type that I always make. Sh- I love uh, people that when they taught me, when they think about me, I'm. Uh, Someone that they can rely on. Mm-hmm. Like that. Yeah, I think that's 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 all I want. That's all. I mean, nothing more than that. Yeah. Amazing. Not being not not being famous or anything. Just for someone that rely, kind and helpful. That's all. Just simple thing. I do. I'm I'm not very I'm not that complicated. That's it. Yeah. I'm afraid to say you're gonna be very famous now after this interview. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Okay, so that's it. Okay, let's play now the word association game. Okay, I'm going to give away some words. Just tell one word that comes to your mind. Quick thinking, okay? Mm-hmm. Let's start with money. <clears throat> Pleasant. Okay. Fear. <laughs> Fear. Necessary. Family. Warm. Life. Joy. Love. Complex. Okay. Religion. Oh. Fans. Okay. Sex. Necessary. Okay. Politics. Complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Friendship. Oh. Beautiful. Okay. Desire. Evil. Regret. Cool. Okay. Success. Mm. What do you call that? Uh, sorry, I, I thought I lost my word. Um, deceiving. Okay. Happiness. The color white. Okay. One word for wish. Oh, I like that. Hope. Okay. One word for Toronto. Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, fun. One word for Malaysia. Home. One word for music. I would say necessary. Okay. And the last one now, doctor, one word. Oh. Chaotic. Okay. Let's pretend I'm going to meet your best friend for a coffee and I'm going to ask your best friend. Define boo in one positive word and one negative word only. What your best friend would say? One. Yeah. Negative would be uncritable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's play now Boo and the Magic Box, and you can ask me a question. Before you ask me the question, Boo, tell me two questions. The first one is, what's your favorite Malaysian word? Boli. Which, which means? Boli means, I can. Boli. I like that. Boli. <laughs> wow. And the other part of the question is, um, if I would come to Malaysia for the very first time, yeah, tell me a place or you know that I shouldn't miss it, that I should go. It's a it's a must if I would come to Malaysia for the very first time. Uh, they sh- definitely should go to Kuala Lumpur, definitely as a first timer, and they should go somewhere you can eat Malaysian food, <laughs> like in Jalan Alor. Uh, Petaling Street, and definitely okay. This is kind of like to be an advertisement. One should go to Rebung Restaurant. It's called the restaurant name is Rebung. So uh-huh. You should go there. It's food. It's a it's a food haven. So. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Okay, you can ask me a question now. Okay. Um. 
I notice your accent is a bit different. I know you're from from UK. Are you from Caribbean? No, I'm from Brazil. I'm originally from Brazil. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm Brazil. It's oh. okay. It's okay. Oh. So yeah, so I was born in Brazil. Um, I left Brazil when I was 19 years old. I moved to Portugal. Yeah, I lived in mm-hmm. Portugal for five, almost five years, and I've been living in England for almost most of my life in London. So yeah, I I left Brazil when I was very young, and uh, but I London is home for me right now. I've been here so many years. Ah. And, uh, yeah, I feel part of uh, it's it's my life here uh, in London in England. So, yeah, but okay, sorry. Uh, sorry. Okay, wow, that's from Brazil. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> I've never been to Brazil. I've never been to Brazil. No. <laughs> no. No. I mean, I wish I could go, but I I have gone there, but not yet. Maybe in my next, in my bucket list, not yet. <laughs> Amazing. But since now, I'm in in North America, so it's nearly compared to Malaysia. So yeah, I mean, I can show you. <laughs> Amazing. Can I, you, can I ask, actually um uh um in UK uh are you the I mean, when you so now you've been living there for for some two, you already citizenship of you the, the the UK or are you yes. still Brazilian? No, I mean I'm I'm still I still hold a Brazilian passport, but at the same time as well I hold an English passport. So oh, yeah, okay. I have both I have both nationalities. Yeah. Oh, UK allow two national two citizenship. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Did you enjoy the interview? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was quite fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much again for taking the time for the interview. Thanks for being so kind and so sweet. And um, before we go, if you can share a positive message or anything that you live by. Okay. I'm 43 to 44. I we have I've decided to change my uh, my uh, my life in terms that I migrated to Toronto. People always say that it's not doable because of my age. You know what? If you think that would makes you happy, provided you have the necessity to to do, just do it. Totally. Age, age, age is just a number. It doesn't mean anything. Like, seriously, seriously, it doesn't mean anything. Absolutely. I think you know you can do anything any time in your life. You know everything meant to happen the right time. So they are not the right time. The right time is when it's good for you. So that's how I see as well. Amazing. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I love it. Thanks so much. Enjoy your Sunday you. and keep in touch. It was a pleasure. Okay. Take care. Okay. Thank. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. 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 So, did you like the show? Don't forget to give a like, share it, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to be part of the show as well, first subscribe to our channel, and after that, just go to our website www.williamandthemagicbox.com and send us a request saying why would you like to be part of the show. And I see you there. Bye bye. See you next time.